Hello to all the viewers. With me, I have Dr. Shagun Batra, who has secured an amazing rank of 13 in the INICT exam. And I'm super excited to have Dr. Shagun because uh, I know her for a couple of years. So I've been taking some practical classes for her medicine final MBBS exam as well. And uh, from that time, she always had a special interest in medicine. And what makes me excited is that she is going to take medicine for her post-graduation. So Shagun, uh, hearty congratulations on this awesome success. Thank you so much, sir. I fondly remember the practical session that you took for me. Uh, it was on stroke and I was so confident about that topic after, the, after that, that in my final MBBS exam, I didn't even study stroke. I was like, I just remember that session and I don't need anything else apart from that. <laughs> because uh, I still remember that for the session, for conducting the practical sessions, uh, I just actually asked candidates, okay, who are ready to volunteer. And uh, I think you were one of the earliest candidates who wanted to volunteer. So was Arman. And both of you are actually batchmates in MAMSI. And Arman has gone on to second ninth, both gone on to get ninth rank. You are going to get, you have got a 13th rank. So amazing achievement and uh, so, so happy for you. So just tell the viewers one thing, you know, I already told them that you're going to take medicine, but just tell me why medicine for post-graduation? Uh, now that I think of it, I cannot imagine myself in any other branch apart from medicine. Like after doing my internship in medicine and after final year, it's like, I feel like I'm made for this branch. Like it makes me really happy when I go to my medicine posting, when I stand in the OPD, when I stand in the ward. I don't feel that kind of joy anywhere in the hospital. Okay, okay. Because in the uh, practical sessions we had also, what I observed, uh, in fact, in yourself and also a few other candidates also, was your approach to medicine. Because whenever I used to ask you questions, rather than focusing on the theory part of it, you had good clarity on the approach to the problem. So remember, we were not focusing just on the diagnosis, it was the approach uh, that is more important in medicine. So do you think that medicine as a subject maybe fascinated you because of this approach and how, you know, you reach the diagnosis? It's like a puzzle, right? Yes, sir. It, seems, it all seems very logical that, right? you know, you can narrow it down to a diagnosis with, with the help of a few clues. It's like a puzzle. It's like Sherlock Holmes that you can reach your... Okay. Yeah, right, right. Good. So uh, Shagun, um, I think uh, I also fondly remember you as a quizzer because uh, maybe through your final year MBBS and you know your internship, you have attended most of the quizzes. And in the pediatrics quiz conducted by uh, Sandeep Sharma sir, you were the national first. It, both the prelims as well as the uh, finals in the doc tutorials pediatric quiz, right? Yes. Right. And uh, also in the medicine magnum quiz that I had conducted, you were in the top six in the finalist and you went on to get a top position as well. So uh, what actually attracts you to quizzes? Uh, sir, I really, quizzes are a form of uh, learning which is not happening in colleges. Like you get to learn about things that you would otherwise never get to know. And it's more of a learning experience. It's never about winning or losing. It's about every quiz you go to, you learn something and that is your prize. Okay, okay. And uh, see, so you, you told me that medicine is your first love and you said in between uh, you had a confusion. I know that you had a confusion for pediatrics. So eventually it is a medicine and pediatrics quiz, you know, you were uh, topping. Right. So how was the pediatrics quiz conducted by Sandeep sir? So it was really uh, thorough. Like it tested all forms of uh, questions and it was, it was very competitive as well because all the finalists were very, very brilliant. So it was overall a very nice experience. Okay. All right. Now, um, what is your message for the juniors who are actually preparing for the entrance exams? Because as you just said, not just quizzes, even the entrance exams are highly competitive. So uh, what is your message to the candidates who are preparing maybe the second year MBBS students on how to shape up their preparation so that you've got a good rank in your first attempt itself? So how to properly shape up the preparation? 
Uh, I think the most important thing is to be disciplined because motivation is very short lived like you can be motivated for a day for a week but discipline is something that will carry you for years like even if you it's not like you should stop enjoying your life you have to enjoy your mbbs you even have to enjoy your internship but you need to know where to draw the line between enjoying and studying and i think when you learn to strike that balance everything will be a very easy ride for you you should be consistent throughout your mbbs years uh, entrance exams don't test what you learned in the last one year they test what you've been learning for the last five and a half years so consistency and discipline are very important i think you know two very important points uh, that shagun has stressed on consistency and discipline and i would also like to bring in one important fact you know we'll hear, hear from shagun itself shagun uh, i know that you were very well prepared so how was the pattern of ini ct this time because it was not the conventional ini ct so uh, how did you adjust to the changed slightly changed pattern yes sir it was kind of atypical and uh, i was uh, like the week between the exam and the results i was really worried whether how the result is going to be and all because the exam was very weird like it was difficult but it was weird because the pattern was difficult but i guess it was the same for everybody if the paper is tough it's tough for everyone okay so you just you have 3 hours and you have to give your best in those 3 hours you it doesn't matter what you've read earlier whatever has happened those 3 hours you have to give your 100% and you are, even if even if there are questions that you know you feel like ki, oh what is this it's a lamba question hai right i'm not able to understand what is this question so you need to take some time you need to dissect it sometimes the longest questions are the easiest questions because the answer is literally inside the question okay all right and in the exam that uh, in the ini ct exam uh, was there any particular subject which had more weightage uh, yes sir this time uh, i think two things had a lot of weightage one was obsen gyne and one was genetics like it is the overlap between pathology and biochemistry so genetics as such had a huge weightage and obsen gyne okay so um, you have done your mbbs from mamsi right so uh, it must have been a hectic internship so uh, you must have really worked hard to get in first chance because this is a commendable achievement internship at mamsi is really really hectic like uh, i don't know i initially i used to think that oh, what's the big deal like we study with college also what's the big deal and anybody can crack it it's really difficult because you work the entire day and then after 12 13 hours you are totally tired but then you have to maintain it like you have to be consistent so even if it was like 15 minutes that i could study i used to so that i don't break the momentum okay all right and uh, what about your the time that you allocated to studies during internship because obviously there would be some interns that, you know they will be listening to you yes. so uh, with your hectic schedule whatever little time that you got did you utilize for studies Yes, sir. Uh, actually, in, even in internship, it's not uniform. Some in, some postings are more hectic. So some postings are more hectic, like medicine, in which you barely get any time, and then you have comparatively lighter postings. So you have to plan the entire year. You don't have to plan your next week or next month. You need to know that my PSM and my suppose off the postings are light. So I need to cover a, a major chunk of my syllabus in those fields. and in medicine i'm not getting much time even if even if i do one subject in that period it's okay like you don't have to be very hard on yourself so you have to uh, shape your preparation according to your own schedule you cannot uh, depend on anybody else for that okay and uh, one question i want to ask you which i am sure many of your juniors also would want to know because many candidates keep reading keep preparing but they might not actually do the grand test or enough mcq practice okay. so just give them an idea on how important mcq practice is and how important is giving grand test so reading notes is just 50% of the preparation even if you read them 10 times doing mcq is uh, takes around 30% and then the rest is by tests like 20% doing mcq is very important firstly because it will give you the previous year questions which are very often repeated especially in ini ct it, their repeat rate is very high even this time there were i can totally easily recall 10 to 15 questions which had been repeated from previous years plus uh, solving questions 
uh, teaches you the art to eliminate like even if you don't know the answer you know that this is not the answer so okay. out of four options if you can even say ki okay these three are not the answer you reach the answer so you need to know how to eliminate you need, and giving test is important because you need to sustain your concentration for 3 hours it's not easy initially i used to get bored in like one hour and i used to think ki yeah, how can somebody sit for 3 hours but by the end of it i was very comfortable sitting for 3 hours and um, plus you need to know how to revise your paper like you've gone through it once so most of the time people think like ki theek hai ek bar dekh liya let's submit it now but you need to know how to revise your answers because the silly mistakes are usually caught during the first revision of the answer answer okay. so so how many questions did you attempt shagun for the sinai cp uh, so i attempted 197 out of 200 questions okay very important all the listeners because usually toppers give a good attempt so shagun just uh, also tell us uh, what was your strategy while attempting the exam you have attempted around 197 questions so uh, did you go to the exam hall saying that okay let me go in a positive frame of mind let me try to clock above 190 what was the strategy sir i was definitely sure that i will attempt more than 190 no matter how tough the paper is because if you don't attempt you are obviously not going to get the marks you have to take some risk even if the negative marking is very much like one third is a significant negative marking so you have to be aggressive like okay. if you want to be at the top you have to be aggressive okay. and approximately how many questions you got right approximately based on your self calculation so it must be somewhere between 160 170 160 170 all right so shagun the rank just actually came and uh, how are the parents and family feeling right now they're all very happy and they're very excited <laughs> and they've been baking cakes and getting sweets all right all right so i am sure that you know this is a busy moment at family so i don't want to keep you here long and just one last question you know you are go- you are going to take medicine you know definitely enjoy your medicine residency because uh, you know such a beautiful subject and from there have you had any specialty plans uh so not any particular specialty as of now i want to explore my residency and then come to that decision okay. but for now i was thinking about neurology or cardiology okay. but so it's neuro and cardio so okay so i just try to shift your you to neurology because you know i am myself a neurologist as well so you know we'll keep in touch okay so enjoy your medicine residency that is what i want to tell you about everything you have got such an amazing rank but again more importantly you have got an opportunity to get trained in medicine in probably the best institute of the country so uh, enjoy your residency enjoy your life and live the moment you know with uh, enjoy the moment with your family right now and all the best shagun and uh, for your personal and uh, professional life okay thank you so much